Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyperheim. Sorry if I'm zoomed into this so much, but anyways, welcome back to Kicker and Kingdom, where the moment that I start recording, you immediately hear motorcycle outside because that's just literally in my life. I'm going. I I almost said something really bad that would have got me demonetized, especially at the start of the video. Anyways, welcome back to Kicker and Kingdom. What my intended goal of what I want to try and do today is, I just want to see if I can finish the whole entire Might of the Ancients quest with Golden Cheese Cookie. Because last time that you saw, we basically got half the missions done, and now we only need to do two more, which I'm pretty sure this is just really easy. It's it's literally meet 50 cookies and we 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 we've gotten like every single cookie in the game like i'm not even joking i think we have every single unless if you're excluding like the chinese ones because i'm pretty sure those are exclusive like we have every single cookie, even the special ones like every guest every bts every disney every sonic and tails all that stuff we literally have every cookie so uh yeah uh, that's that and the last thing is uh apparently oh okay that's just for an unlock requirement which is uh Okay, well, first of all, Dazzling Fragment Memory Jelly thing, whatever it is. Uh, we already got that and some of the biscuits. And uh, I guess that mission before was just uh, using Golden Cheese Cookie in the Alliance. I guess that was just for, like, hey, guess what? You, you just go ahead and use her, like, a certain amount of times, and then you can unlock it. And now it gives me the real mission of upgrading a biscuit ten times, which... It's not even that hard. If, if I would have known these, like, missions were this easy... I would have done it in like one video, but I thought like with how lengthy they would have been because I'm pretty sure when I did the Dark Cow one, they were harder and like they were requiring me like at least like more than a day to do because it had to do with like reset missions. But this is easy. Like, I didn't even get to do in the intro. I I'm sorry. I'm just skipping over that. I, what am I even going to do for this video? I don't know, but how about this? Uh, if you want to leave your questions and comments down in the comment section below for me to read on these videos and feel free to do so. It could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different. Doesn't even matter because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day and as long as it isn't literally Kiwi Biker literally trying to rev their whole entire motorcycle outside my house, that's completely fine. I mean, as long as we're having a good communication with each other between creator and community and community uh, to community to creator and that's what matters the most. And we're also reading comments from the video, A Sickness Over the Dark Cacao Kingdom from the first episode of the BC Episode 3 Explorer thing so that's just fun uh so should we just should we just immediately upgrade the biscuits i feel like we could just do something else in the meantime because like this is just this is just too easy this that motorcycle drive away yet i think it drove away okay are we clear are we clear for takeoff are we clear for landing uh honestly i think in this one i'm not even like is it just this easy like Okay, level five, level one. I recently got this, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but we just get this level 10, or... You know, I'll, I'll do a spare, level 15. Is that it? Is, is this easy? Can I just, like, can I just end the video right now? I don't know, could I actually just end the video? I could end the video right now if I want to. Wow, okay, uh... Can I at least read a few comments before I actually pull this off? Uh... Uh, Kika left a few comments. One saying, common question of the day. Oh, that stuffy COVID. My ear hurt. My head hurt. Everything hurt. Thankfully, it only lasted a week for me. Can't say the same about my brother, though. Don't worry, he's okay. He's just suffered longer. Well, first of all, I'm very glad that you ended up, you know, getting okay out of it because experiencing that sucks. I luckily never got it myself because I got my, you know, my vaccine, my booster shots. But yeah, I'm just very glad that you were able to uh, come out of it okay. And your other comment says, gotta love, I'm gotta say I'm loving this event, especially Dark Cacao. It demonstrates well the benevolent king side that Caramel Arrows always talks about. Yeah, it does make sense. Caramel Arrow always had an affixation towards that side of Dark Cacao. And the other comment I'll read from Draco just says, The story really does express why the Dark Cacao Kingdom is my favorite kingdom. They fight off the weather and enemies every day, go through so much hardships, and despite all this, they remain so loyal to Dark Cacao, who has gone through so much, fighting the black and white dragons and practically losing sun to the darkness. Also, of course, the scenery, the whole kingdom, the blacks and the whites, and even some of the browns and purples work so well, and I absolutely love the Asian theming of the whole kingdom, and anyways, great video as always. I feel like out of all the kingdoms, I think the Dark Cacao one has the most unique assets if that makes sense like don't get me wrong i stole like a whole devotion to the uh, golden cheese kingdom it looks so unique but it's easy to stem where that comes from you know the egyptian aspect but with the asian aspect with the dark cow kingdom it just looks more unique in essence because it has a lot more of a dreary dreary look well we can definitely recognize what it what a golden cheese kingdom will look like especially relating to golden cheese kingdom or go golden cheese cookie it's just egyptian uh but anyway let's go ahead and get this because uh does this give us a special cutscene? I hope it does, because if it doesn't, it just gives us a title. Uh, but now we see this. Yes, this does indeed give us a cutscene. Okay, so good. We do have more content. I'm so grateful for that. You have no idea. Okay. What is that thing flying in the air? I've never seen a bird like that before. 
I feel the power surging through me. <laughs> so this is the legendary power. Oh my cheese. So the legend was true, true? <laughs> I told you so. I told you I'd find it. I will become the richest cookie on all of Earth bread. Drip, drip. How amazing. Congratulations. You showed me the way, didn't you? I didn't forget how you helped me. Hmm. All right, then. You can be my subject. Drip, drip. Your subject? That's right. I'm bestowing the honor to serve me. I shall share this abundance with you once you join me. From now on, I shall call this the Golden G's Kingdom. Join me in my celebration. I shall create a prosperous future for us all. So that's basically the origins of how, uh, you know, Golden Cheese became, you know, the the new ancient of the Golden Cheese Kingdom and how the Golden Cheese Kingdom came, came to be. And now we have the title of Heir of the Heroes, which I guess maybe that's for completing the event, I assume, or just something like that. But yeah, this, the event's done. We have nothing else to do because if we go back, we can, uh, oh, is, is it, is it just gone? Well, well that's kind of sad. It's, 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 it's just gone now. I guess we could do other stuff in the meantime, like, because I could literally end the video here, but it's, it'd be literally a six minute video. Could I really get away with uploading a video that's only six minutes long? Like, I understand I'd be doing things, other things in the video that wouldn't really relate. But, like, come on, I feel like I gotta do other things because I feel like if I just did the, oh, oh, look at this. My the Heroes uh, Ancient Package 2. Uh, so you, you either get to choose between golden or white. A golden and white choice chest. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Uh, Star Jelly Concentration and some powder, but that costs 25 bucks. Are you kidding me? Uh, but anyway, I guess we could just do other stuff for the kingdom, like maybe doing some like, buffs or something like that. Can we do anything in the gacha? I was thinking about doing some gacha pulls, to be honest. Primarily because I know there's 257 here, 221. I would definitely like to get some more. But uh, the thing is, I did feel like doing some gacha, primarily because there actually are some missions that require me doing the cookie gacha. Like, use the cookie gacha 20 times. And if I think I go over here, use the cookie gacha 30 times. And if I go all the way over here, use the cookie gacha 50 times. So there's a lot of cookie gacha missions, which I feel like I should do some of them. I'm not going to do, like... I, I think I'll only do, like, five holes. I feel like that'd be a pretty good necessity right there. Uh, but I think I'll do other things, first of all. Which, first of all, I'm actually going to go ahead and just... I'll, I'm going to go ahead and just spend a good amount of my mileage on these treasure tickets. Primarily because there's something important that I want to do. I know I just spent a lot of mileage, but the important thing is I want to get these treasures upgraded. Because my uh, Pilgrim Scroll is already at max. So, importantly, I want to get this watch upgraded, the whistle upgrade, and the feather upgraded. Because I think those are the best treasures to upgrade. So, while I just check out what I quickly get for real quick, I can actually read comments in the meantime. Uh, I wish you, I wish you could do a, do a full, full pull 500 thing. But, in the meantime, let's just do some of the comments here while I just spam through some of these. And, of course, I will skip, but... Uh, uh, this is just to entertain you. It's kind of like a jingling keys in front of you, so you stay entertained. Uh, but an idiot left a few comments. One saying, "No way, hyper high. Long time no sees, baby. Why would you? Why would you call me baby? Let's well, call me buddy or something." But uh, anyway, it's been a while since I see you too. And your other comment says, "At 5:42, I wish your players could know what this is all about because of the limited time lightning event, or the lighting event." Yeah. I wonder if there's a way where I can uh, explain that. I'm not sure, but uh, maybe there will come to a point. Maybe I can turn it into a short. I don't know. But Sonic Gamer also left a comment saying, I feel like this is the first time we've seen Caramel Arrow and Crunchy Chip interact with each other. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not sure if I remember them interacting or not. Uh, maybe they showed up together like in like one cutscene or story. I'm not sure. But all I know is like seeing interact, you know, seeing the two of them interact with each other, one to the other, is actually very adorable, and I love the dynamic between the between the both of them. Uh, but another comment coming from uh, Colossal Slayer says, "I have to say, after playing through the whole story, no spoilers, but Mystic Flower Kiki's power are horrifying." Well, while I don't know the full extent of Mystic Flower Kiki's power, all I can tell you is that she has the capabilities of making wishes. It's kind of, I feel like it's kind of like Lotus Dragon in some essence, but to be fair. I feel like she's going to hold a grudge against, like, greedy cookies, which I'm glad that it's not Golden Cheese going through this. Anyway, we can, up we can upgrade the whistle again, which is good, but I'm looking for that watch. we got to get more of that watch going. Uh, but, yeah, after I do a few of these polls, probably after we reach the 10-minute mark, then, uh, you know... Because, honestly, that watch upgrading is really good, because I've heard that if you don't have that watch fully upgraded... Uh, you'd rather just use the original. So we only need five more. So I'm just going to quickly do some skips. We literally got no watches. Are you kidding me? Not a single watch? Duh, you got to be kidding me. Another one. Uh, that's something else. Not even a si Dude, come the pleb on. I just want some of the watch. We're upgrading. We can actually... We can, get we can get the sugar swan feather to max level. Are you kidding me? 
Like, if we go over to cookies, the treasures, the feather can be a max level. It, it revives the cookie with 100% HP. No weakness. Okay, sure. Uh, there's a com there's a few comments from Smart and Sparrow that I'll speed on through before I read a common question of the day, which uh, says one saying at 11:27, common question respond. I uh, wait, what does it say? I might have a high fever since last year. Oh well, I'm glad. I'm ho hopefully you're still feeling better, which I don't think it's possible to have a fever for that long. And if that's the case, then man, I feel so terrible for people who have fevers because I've had something similar and they suck. Another comment you left is one time I did notice the Mystic Flower Cookie Gacha animation. The first part was like the five beast mural thing, which was similar to the ancient Gacha animation. To be fair, I haven't seen the Gacha animation myself, but it does make sense as that why that would be the animation because you know it's referencing you know the uh, you know the, the ancients. You know, I'm I'm spending so much here. Uh, just do just the casual 300 300 but no more than that because I'm just grinding through m m mileage like it is already uh, another comment that smart and spiral left is uh, still not a plumbing watch are you kidding me uh, but like another comment you have is yikes I think I ate one of the spicy noodles earlier my tongue hurts so I drink milk yeah drink milk to you know help with spicy food I heard milk I heard that milk is really good for handling with spicy food but did I, I gotta swap I gotta swap this watch out I gotta swap what, what do I swap it out with uh the robes. I think the robes are good, too. Okay, w w one more time. Not not the packages. Uh, sheesh. Please, one more. Not even a single... Okay, well, flip it. we're just gonna read the comic question of the day right now, because now I'm getting upset. Alright, for a comic question of the day... I gotta... Gee, I just did, like, over, f like, 700 treasure holes, and the watch is not even maxed out. I should probably upgrade the other treasures in the museum. But okay, for a common question of the day, I'll, 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 I, you know what? I thought of something pretty interesting because I feel like I say that for all the common questions. But let's just get this out of the way. Are you more of an early bird person or are you more of a night owl? Which basically that means, do you prefer doing things more in the day or doing things more in the night? Because me personally, I am the definition of a mixed bag because it really just depends on my sleep schedule. I'm being 100% honest. Because like, let's be honest, like I'm just either like, mm, well... I could do something like in the middle of the day, like, and I just do it a lot. I like a grind up recordings and stuff. By the way, I'm just gonna do a cheeky costume draw just because I can, but I'm probably not gonna ain't get anything out of it. But also at the same time, there's a lot of the times where I do stuff in the middle of the night, and uh, does it take a lot out of me? Not really, no. It's actually kind of refreshing because, you know, I feel like I'm more focused. But either or in my element, I'm just glad that I get to doing what I'm doing because, uh, you know, I love making these videos. And I like slowly growing bigger so we can slowly help other people because that's what I want to do in the future. I just want to help other people grow and also just collaborate because I love doing that. But anyway, be sure to tell me down uh, your answer in the comment section below because everyone has their preferences. But uh, what matters is that you're just happy about it. And we're starting off with something good. It's uh, it's an, it's an epic. Okay. It's just pomegranate cookie. I heard pomegranate is actually really good for uh, one of the bosses in the, uh, the the guild arena. So that would be pretty good. I just got to experiment with that. But uh, then again, things could change. You don't know when one cookie is good, but then they could easily be swapped out with a new cookie for all I know. At least we did get an, uh, an immediate epic cookie for our first start. That's actually not too bad. But probably after these gacha pulls, I will end the video because, uh, you know, I just, you know, like doing these gacha pulls whenever I can. But uh, I'm probably going to do, like, two from this. Maybe I can try and get some more cloud tatays because I heard cloud tatay is... Cloud tatay? It's like I'm saying uh, tart to tan, uh, which that I'm not even pronouncing it right. It's not tart to tan, it's tart tatin, but I prefer saying tart to tan because I think it rolls off the tongue better. Uh, but whatevs. Anyway, at least we got some cookies out of that. Not too bad. I'll probably do another one, uh, which, while, while, while I'm doing this, also I got to read comments from uh, a lot of people, actually, because there's actually surprisingly a lot amount of comments in this video. Like, for example, like so I, li uh, I like sorbet cookie left comment saying, John Ghost, my worst part is I'm already dead because I'm a ghost. Pure vanilla, what the holy cookie is that? What the pleb is up with you? Ian also broke up the comment saying, the worst sickness I ever felt was experiencing vomiting for the first time when I was really young. I'll just say it's COVID all over again. Yeah. Oh, jeez, I swear COVID really got to the worst of people, which I can understand that, and I can I could just only hope that, uh, you know, you got your vaccines. I Hopefully, you're not, like, anti-vaccine people, because I know people are, like, very, uh, you know, very interesting when it comes to that, but I'd rather just not die, you know? But there's a few comments from Ultra9867, one saying, wait a plebbing second, I just noticed, we have new biscuits. Look, some of them are more pale than others. Could this be influenced by Mystic Flower Cookie? I don't know, it could be possible, but who knows? And another comment you left is, wow, I'm getting episode 1 of Beasties all over again. Except worse, because we couldn't even get to a single level. Well, 
Oh, look at that, Dragon Soul Stones. Uh, well, I don't know if you mean this uh, episode 3 is as hard as episode 1 and you can't get past it, but here's hoping that you can get some strong cookies to help you get through it. I mean, I mean, here's also hoping that you can get... May maybe you can utilize one of the free uh, ancient cookies from the Might of the Ancients to help you, but I don't know. But there's also a comment from Mona Wolf here saying, The Dark Cacao Kingdom has more design than Creme Brulee. Well, yeah? Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, you, you literally compared a whole kingdom to one cookie. What do you mean? That's that's kind that's kind of a losing battle for Creme Brulee's side. And also a comment from Luna Cupcake says, Mystic Flower Cookie should just be remain, renamed a Thanos Cookie. I mean, you think I wouldn't know what Mystic Flower Cookie would do, but have you seen the trailers? I think it's pretty obvious as what uh, they would do. Probably gonna do a cheeky poll here. Then again, I probably should save these more exclusive cookie cutters. I'm not sure. But, uh... I mean, I've seen what Mr. Flower can do, and it's terrifying. Anyway, Mark Hoyt left a comment saying, Dark Enchanter should just give up and forfeit her position as the main villain so that maybe the Beast or Longan can be the new antagonist, especially Longan. Well, I can tell you, Longan's definitely taking control as the main antagonist in the original, in Kiki Run of a Break, so I think the Beasts are going to be taking control as the main antagonist in Kiki Run Kingdom. I mean, literally the last time that Dark Enchantress had any role in anything had to do with uh, when Macho Cookie and uh, Butter Roll Cookie were released, when she was just talking to Pomegranate and going like, hey, make sure nothing gets screwed up when summoning this mega dough, trying to make cookies out of this dough, and the Pomegranate was like, okay, and then Macho's like, nah, I'm going to do my own thing, and then just destroyed everything, which, you know what, Macho's a proud independent wizard and doesn't deserve i'm proud of an independent witch who doesn't deserve to be shoved to the side like that anyway that's just me uh but anyway there's actually a few comments from uh apparently there's more comments from mona wolf deer but i'll just really go i'll read like one more because uh there, we only have to do two more polls anyway uh one saying uh i common question it was ramadan day and i got sick a lot my mother made me take medicine after a long while i couldn't walk or anything then my father screamed at me for not coming and helped him and when he called me even after knowing i was sick then I cried because of that. Are you? What the heck? Can you can you ask him to take you to like a hospital? Like, sheesh, that sounds awful. Like, if it were me, I would have been like, all right, I I don't know what we're gonna do with you, but like, we have to get you like like if you're struggling to walk and like you can barely breathe, we gotta get you to like a hospital immediately, stat. No question about it. But that's just me. That's literally my maternal side trying to act up because I literally care about each and every one of your safety. Everyone who's watching this video, I care for. Anyway, at least we're getting Cloud to take Cookie Soul Stones. That's good. Maybe we can get a few more. Come on. Oh, we just need two more. Just for, come on. Just two more. No, that's a rare cookie. I mean, it's better for Miley's, but still. Anyway, there is a comment from uh, Protector Draco saying, Comment question of the day. That will probably be whenever I accidentally ate gluten. Stomach hurts so bad, I can't uh, eat much or cough up what little I do eat in a week or two. So, I'm assuming you have a gluten allergy, which, if that's the case, I'm hoping there's food out there that's easy to find that also doesn't contain gluten, because, you know, I want to make sure that you're safe and also healthy, you know? I want to make sure that you live a long life. Well, eh, whatever. We only have one more poll, and now I want to do one more on here, because then I can get a one-star cloud to take. Here's hoping I can at least get a cloud to take cookie, I'm hoping. Uh, but anyway, the last comments that I see come from, uh, one coming from a gamer 360 saying, The fact that the next cookie on number cookies are Noodle and Lithuanian Win Tofu are unexpected, slash sarcasm. I mean, it's, it's, it literally said at the end of the story, to be continued in the next update, so did anyone, like, w was anyone surprised? Like, like, I don't think anyone was surprised, but I understand you said sarcasm, but I don't think anyone would have been surprised about that at all. Uh, but Selena Han uh, Haman, sorry, uh, you said a comment saying, I can't wait for the next update, I'm already hyped. Well, guess what, the update's already here, so you better be prepared. A comment from Kristen04 left a comment saying, Common question, I had a really bad cough, it was so bad that my chest started hurting more each cough that I experienced. So far, what are your thoughts on this update? Which beast cookie do you want to be playable next in release? I would say Shadow Milk, but, uh... Obviously, I'm pretty sure Shadow Milk is going to be left for last. So, in my personal opinion, I think the one that I would want to be most interested in is Silent Salt. Because they just seem so interesting out of all of them. Because they they were the one who I originally thought was going to be the parallel to Dark Cacao. I thought they were just going to be Dark Cacao, but somehow even worse. Like, I'm not even joking about that. But, I don't know. We'll just see. For all I know, maybe the one related to Fire could happen next. but Or, or the other one, the, the more pinkish one. But we'll just have to wait and see. 
But I think that's all the comments for the video, to be honest. So I could probably just end the video here. I'm just pretty sure. Gotta make sure I scan everything. Yeah, that's about that. So I'm just gonna end this video right here. So if you enjoy the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it. And also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kick run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe? And also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also down below in the description, you'll see links to all of my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the kick run new two stuff for absolutely free. A link to my Discord server called the Hype Beast Hub. A link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to the channel and lastly a link to my Kofi where for just one dollar a month you can see exclusive content that you wouldn't normally see in this normal YouTube channel but above all else I will see you entities and guardians in the next video hail the hype knees